to a new video, I accidentally erased the voiceover. <laughs> so I've got to do it all again. Uh, right, so I've got some Madame Glam Gel Polish. I've got Lilac You A Lot and Candyland. This is probably one of my favourite colours at the moment. And then I've got some glitter. So we're using Blueberry Bonbon and Palmer Violet from Nail Sugar. These are part of Nail Sugar's Candyland collection. You can't buy these separately. You have to buy them as a collection. But you will use them all. They're all beautiful. Um, and then I'm using some foils. These are Eggy foils from Shein. They came as part of a set, uh, like an Easter box of foils. I don't know if it's still on the website, but I kind of thought they went quite nicely with those. So uh, okay, so um, I think I said this in yesterday's video as well, but Madame Glam are doing a two-day shopping spree event again on the 21st of March and the 22nd of March. So um, midnight, midnight 20, no, hang on, zero, zero o'clock on March 21st to midnight the 22nd of March. I think it's Monday and Tuesday. This is Eastern time, by the way. So I think this is five hours behind. They're yeah, they're five hours behind us in the UK. Um, but you can use code um, NATMUG50, M-A-R, MAR, um, and you can get 50% off um, your order, which is amazing and well worth it. If you're not a VIP and you don't want to become a VIP, you will get 50% off everything using that code. But you have to buy a minimum of three products and I believe it's only valid once. Though they didn't mention that this time in my email, but that I can see, but that normally that has been the case. So they've done one for Black Friday, they've done one for the January sales. They're doing another one, which is quite nice. Um, so yeah, two, right, two coats of each colour on these nails. They need 30 seconds in the lamp, each layer. By the way, the information about the two-day shopping event, 50% off, I'll leave down in, the uh, yeah, down in the description box. And I will be doing another video about it a little bit nearer the time. So don't panic. Uh, right, so on the, uh, on two of, well, one of the violet nails, one of the lilac nails, I've put some base coat and I'm just gonna sprinkle some of the glitter on. Now I'm doing this, I'm touching uncured product with my finger, which is my naked skin, which is really a massive no-no because if you do this a lot, this is why you shouldn't get uncured product on your client's skin. Um, it can cause um, a reaction, you know, like allergic reactions and stuff. So don't do it. Do as I say, not as I do. It's one of those moments, you know. Um, I'm going to do exactly the same thing on this now. This is base coat. I think I said that. Then I'm going to sprinkle the other glitter on this one. And again, I'm going to touch it with my naked skin. <laughs> but instead of um, instead of uh, keep bringing that up, I will tell you, you can get 10% 10, 10 off nail sugar glitters using my code NATMUG10. Um, and decals and pigments and anything else that there is on the website, you can get 10% off using code NATMUG10. Go and have a look because there's some lovely things on the website. There we go, look. Oh, pretend I've got a, a, a glove on. It's not really skin, it's a glove. There we go. Pop that in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then over the top of these, because I want to put the foils on these two nails, I thought I would go over with a layer of base coat just to smooth the nail out because it would be easier to press the to be able to press the, the foil design onto the nail if it's smooth instead of bumpy. So whatever I do on the bluey nail, I'm gonna do the same thing on the lilac. Only we've used the different we've used different colours. Okay, so I and I, I wondered if right I've I'm gonna go over it with some what's this called isopropyl alcohol just to remove that tacky layer I wondered if it would um, make the I wondered if it would be any better without the tacky layer on I don't know I don't think it was but and today I'm also using Nao's foil gel so yesterday we used SPD London's today we're using Nao's now I'm gonna put that in a lamp and when it comes out I'm gonna place the the foil on and I do think that the design goes on slightly better using SPD London's. So like when I pop, when I pull this off, there's a couple of places that the the foil is missing. I mean, it may have been that I didn't rub it properly. Right at the top, can you see that egg in the top right hand corner? And then at the very bottom, 
there's a little bit missing of the design so i do think spd london's is a little bit better in that respect but they are both still really good like naos is really good i mean that design went on nicely yeah do you know what, you know what i mean so i'm not really i'm not knocking naos i'm just saying that i think spds might be a little bit better that's all i'm saying right this is matte top coat that's going to go in the lamp and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the glossy top coat and pop it on a palette while that is in the lamp. And then what I want to do is I want the matte background and on the matte background, I want some shiny eggs. So using a detailer brush, this is the Nail Sugar Natalie Muggles detailer brush, which is not back in stock yet. We're still, um, yeah, this, at the moment there's no no update on the brushes so i do apologize but we've just made i've put a little bit extra top coat on so if you can see it's just got a little bit of height now just hold it upside down in the lamp before hold it upside down before you put it in the lamp and it the 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 top coat will kind of make you know make a little bit of height so i'm going to do that on all the eggs and can you see i'm going to do it on the little one so i put a little bit too much top coat on so that it just gives it a little bit of height and then, yeah, so I'm going to do it on all the other eggs that are on the nails now. And then it will look something like this. I actually really quite like that. I thought it was quite cute. So, yeah, I'm going to repeat all the same steps on this lilac -y nail. So there we go. That's what they look like. I think I like the blue one better than the lilac one, actually. Even though lilac is probably one of my favourite colours. Okay, and then we're going to use these. These are the Baby Bunnies decals from Nail Sugar. You can get 10% off these as well. These are on the website, code NATMUG10. Uh, I'm going to use the bunny with the balloons today. So in a previous set that actually I'd done not long ago, we're going to need a bit of water as well for, for these, by the way. Um, I used one of the grey bunnies. And today I thought I would use the, the, the brown bunny. Now, if you do these on... If you put these on a white background... I mean, you can see it's on a white back in, um, but you'll notice, yeah, if you have it on a white background, the decals will stand out better. Um, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So I like to cut as much excess off from around the decal design as possible. I'm using a bit of sellotape to clean any lint and dust or anything off my stamper. Place my decal onto the stamper, and then I'm going to use my cleanup brush. This is an alchemy brush. Um, I'm just going to place that in the water, dab the water onto the decal, and then this is you do this instead of putting the decal into the water, and then you can actually like stamp your design on. So what will happen is like like it's in water, it will soak up the water that you've put on the back, and then you will be able to just slide the backing off of that decal. There was a hair on the thingy. <laughs> See, it just li li slides off in a matter of seconds. And then you can... Oh, so there's a little wrinkle. The bigger the design, the more likely you are to get a bit of a, a wrinkle or two in the design. Which is why I like to take off as much excess as I can. But I'm going to stamp it on. And can you see, like, if it if it was on a white background, like, the, the bunny's tummy would be white and the ears would be white. But because it's on a blue, the bunny has got a little bit of a... I mean, it's not a bad thing, but the, design, the decals will show up more vibrant on white. Do you know what I mean? I'm just... Yeah, anyway. Right, we're going to go over this with velvet matte top coat. How cute is the bunny, though? <laughs> I love it. Pop that in the lamp. And then I'm going to top coat the lilac nails as well. Then I've got out my Madame Glam gel paint. And all I'm going to do is, right, they look like they're, this 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 balloon here had a little bit of white on it. So I was like, it looks like that's where the sun or the light was hitting the balloon. So I'm going to put some, I just thought I'd add a little bit of detail. I don't know. And then I was a bit like, I was like, shall I go over the bunny? And then I was like, no, I'm just going to leave it at the balloons because if I go over the bunny, I'll probably ruin it. <laughs> so there we go. That's going to go in the lamp. The gel paints need 60 seconds to cure. And then we're going to add some crystals. So I've got, these are Preciosa Violet crystals. All the crystals that I use are from the Crystal Parade. I love these ones. Preciosa Violet these are. And these are round, um, flat backs, non-hot fix. Um, I've also got Preciosa Chrysolite. I really, really like these. They're a really, like, look, a soft, pale green. I love them. 
they're so nice love them and then i will also be using preciosa's ab again all round flat backs all non hot fix the hot fix crystals come with like a kind of like a glue on them but it's like a it's like a hard glue and what happens is when you heat them up um the glue sticks to like if you're putting the hot fixes on to close um it, it like it kind of i suppose it melts and then it sticks it to the i'm not really sure but that's kind of the gist i get anyway um i'm using nail Camise crystal totalist gem glue and i am putting the um because there's a bit of a gap in this corner i'm gonna do like a little arch of crystals and then can you see in the bottom i've done the arch in the other direction if you want to, you can do the top first and then do the bottom. But if you've noticed, I've put the gem glue on at the same time. If you don't feel confident, do do the top bit first or the bottom bit first and then work on the other side. It just, yeah, it just depends. And if you're using big crystals, obviously the crystals here that we're using here aren't big enough to move. But if you are going to do, if you're going to have like a center crystal that you know is going to move, I would always put that in place first before you... Um, before you do any other, before you add gem glue for the rest of the design. Because if you add the gem glue and then you add like one of your big crystals and then you cure it, you're going to have like, you don't want cured gem glue where you want to put the gems. Do you know, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Uh, then I've got some silver caviar beads. We're going to add some of these to our design as well. So the caviar beads just, I'm going to put between the crystals. And I love caviar beads. I feel like they just give the um they give the the crystals just a little bit more of a finished kind of look they also just fill in <coughs> excuse me uh they're just filling gaps as well so if you've got gaps that aren't big enough for crystals but there there's a gap there you can always like tuck a caviar bead in it's just like i don't know just something extra i'm gonna put one each on these little corner bits as well and i think this is actually i'm recording this on the wrong day but yesterday i think scarlet center done a live on the crystal parade it's either on the page or the group but she's just launched some of her uh, some collab mixes with crystal parade so if you haven't if you miss, if you watched it great if you didn't go and have a look because i'm sure um i love watching scarlet do crystal placement i could watch her all day <laughs> um but the mixes are really nice as well so go and have a look okay so again look, i'm kind of doing the same thing that i done at the top um anywhere there's like a, i couldn't get this this caviar bead didn't want to come off but anywhere there's like a bit of a gap then i will sort of put a caviar bead And then when I'm happy, I'm going to put one more actually up the top there. There we go. And then that just kind of, kind of box, boxes, it doesn't box in, but it kind of gives the bunny a bit of a frame, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. But the gem glue needs 60 seconds in an LED lamp. So I'm going to pop that into the lamp. And then I just felt like I just wanted to do something on the purple now. So just really simple. I've got a dotting tool, which has got quite a big ball on the end. I'm dipping that into Madame Glam's gel paint. Now the gel paint has a non-tacky layer. So you can use this on a finished nail or an unfinished nail that needs top coating. So I'm obviously doing it on top of a you know top coat now. But it's not going to be a problem because once it cures, it's not going to have a sticky layer. So it's just going to add some dots. I like, I kind of like dots and stripes and stuff at Easter. I don't know, I don't know why. It's, I think it's, I don't know if it's a, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to do the same thing on this nail. And then uh, this is what they look like. Ta-da! I really like them. They're really cute. We'll give you a quick close-up. So the two-day um, shopping event for Madame Glam, I'll leave the information down below. Um, all the discount codes and websites will be down below as well. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Uh, God bless, and I will see you all in the next one. Yeah, love you all. Bye!